Uh, hearing you speak very passionately about uh, the fossils, uh, I need to ask, uh, and maybe this is random, sort of, but uh, obviously fossils are pieces of history. They carry millions of years, literally, of, of you know, our Earth history. Uh, is there a sort of, I suppose now that you work with them for so long, is there a still a humbling sort of experience uh, knowing that you uh, hold in hands these obviously earth making uh, pieces yes um there is uh, especially when uh, some of the time you have a part of one individual of the species it's the only the only specimen really so precious is it precious it is and so that is also part of you know i i talked about and spoke about the need for meaning in my work to reflect on the humans around my work. And, and then there's the respect for the fossils themselves, which meshes with this. If I do not build, help build, conceive, bring into reality a research program and modern museum, my fossils, the fossils, they're not mine. The Nigerian fossils that I had the privilege to excavate will be destroyed. This is just a fact. Uh, sometimes they're destroyed after you put them in good museums, as we've seen with Stromer's fossils. We tend to look at this as only a problem in the third world. It's not. Uh, there was just a fire in Rio de Janeiro, and fossils, Spinosaur fossils, were lost forever. The only specimens we have of some taxa. It behooves us to try to preserve this piece of history because we may never get it again. That's number one. But the true respect I found once at a very poignant moment in the field was when I started pursuing this human fossil site because it was an extraordinary site in the middle of Gadifau. You know, I didn't know what these human skeletons were. I originally tried to, felt I was just, I should just uh, map it out a little bit and give it to an archaeologist. And I tried to, but there was nobody that knew how to excavate, and I ended up finding, and ended up then that I found an archaeologist, but they, they wanted me to join the expedition because I knew how to lead an expedition and how to excavate humans and tactics, as a matter of fact. And so, and then one thing led to another because I was also a geologist, so I could do the geology. But before you, the, the site had adopted me, and I had to take time off from paleontology to become an archaeologist, which I did for the last 15 years. And at this moment, I was uncovering a burial and I realized this is my own species. Those are my bones, fossilized. And sort of the hair went up on the back of my neck. It was a feeling I'd never... When, when you're uncovering a dinosaur, the bigger, the weirder, the wilder, the better. And there's this frivolous sort of excitement about the whole thing. When you're digging up your own bones, you're looking at your history. That's where it really hit me. Mm -hmm. And I said to myself, you know, we were, we, were un, we were pulling off the sand off of a, what would turn out to be a mother and two children holding hands. It's the most, it, would, it would turn out to be the most posed burial in prehistory, 7,000 years old, be the centerpiece of this museum. No one's ever found a burial like it. Mm -hmm. And I said to myself, Okay, you have my promise. I will protect your bones. You've been there for 7,000 years, peacefully. And now, I've dug up your grave. And the people who buried you, they buried this family, as it appears, with flowers. We found the pollen clusters with arrowheads that had never been shot. It must have been a tragedy, and it was a family that was highly respected, and they buried them with all this goods for the afterlife. And now I've dug up their story. I realized two things. One, I absolutely could not take these bones apart, even though they were almost falling apart in front of me. I had to find a way to capture that burial intact. And I had to preserve this burial just like the rest of those fossils. It really struck me. It struck me that I have an agreement. It's an unwritten agreement with the dinosaurs, and I realized it 
and signed on the dotted line with those humans. I am responsible for your care, given the privilege of digging you up. And that's how I feel about it. You say, is there, is there uh, a responsibility? Is there a moment? That was the moment. I, I just it, it just uh, hit me. Uh, people were actually clearing tears out from their eyes when they were digging this, this triple burial. We stay genuine, uncensored, and unscripted, and we always will, as we have to order our usual. Share us, subscribe us, and stay tuned until the next Wednesday. Iguzo!